Hey fam, welcome to your yoga practice. My name is Toby and today we will open up the hamstrings a bit dynamically and we will flow and we will build up strength. So grab your mat and let's go. We start standing today. So find a stand on your mat. Both feet are grounded. Spine is long and tall. Tuck the chin in slightly, let the hands just hang down, roll the shoulders back a couple of times. Activate the glutes, roll the pelvis down slightly. Stand as tall as you can and close your eyes for a moment. Feel your breath. Feel the slight shifting of your weight your body, that you're never really still, that you're always moving, that you're always adjusting. Take two to three in and exhales. And then slowly open up your eyes, arrive in your space. You can go to a wall and put a hand on the wall to help you with balance, or you can do it freely in the room if you want to experience some balance or some disbalance. We will balance on the left foot. The right leg is free and long, and the right leg will swing back and forth as high and as far as you can. As I said, use the wall or chair is something to support you with your balance otherwise try to keep the balance which is kind of fun actually <laughs> actively and dynamically we are opening up the hip flexor our hamstrings working our fascia and just having fun actually getting a bit warmer a bit more controlled a bit more in the moment Swing higher when you can. Couple more rounds. Release the right foot, land, shake out the left leg for a moment. That can be quite tough with all the balance stuff. And then put the weight on the, to the right foot. Switch hands on the wall if you're on the wall and then swing. Start slow, start low. And then increase range with time. Kick up higher, kick more back. Really swing with full force. Try to keep the balance while doing it. Swing higher when you can. Try to have fun with it. Really use your strength, some power, kick up higher, as if you would like to kick you in the face. Higher, keep the balance. And then release. Find a forward fold. Hang down. Reach for your elbows with both hands and then slowly pull down. The forearms are pulling down and you come up slightly and you pull down. Go as far down as you want but try to go deeper and deeper and deeper. The legs are kind of long. You can also bend them slightly if this feels better for you. But try to be ballistic with the movement, work yourself down. Slowly roll up again, find a standing position, inhale arms up to the sky. Left hand reaches for the right wrist, right leg crosses behind the left leg and then reach over to the left side, elongate the right side body. Slowly switch sides, come to the middle first. Right hand 
reaches for the left wrist, left leg crosses behind the right leg and then lean over to the right side. Come back to the middle, bring both hands to the back of your head, you can clasp them if you want to. Open up the elbows as wide as you can, pull them back and then pull them forward, roll down as far as you can. Open up the elbows, come up again. Bring the elbows forward and roll down. As tight as you can, as low as you can. Open the elbows up, come up again. Bring the elbows forward, roll down. Elbows wide, come up. Elbows forward, roll down. Elbows wide, come up. Elbows forward, roll down, stay down. And slowly pulls again, pulls the movement to your legs, maybe in between your legs, round your spine to a maximum. Just ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, hang out, walk your hands forward, find your downward facing dog. Find your down dog, hook yourself into the pose. Your legs should feel quite open now already. Take a moment to arrive here. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Step forward in between your hands. Left knee lands. Inhale, come up under asana for two breaths. Bring your fingertips to the ground, push yourself back out of Hanumanasana. The right leg is getting along. We find a stretch in the back side of the right leg again. Stay here. Move forward again, find Anjaniasana. We will combine those two movements dynamically. When you inhale, you come up into Anjaniasana. When you exhale, you push yourself back. Ada Hanumanasa, find the stretch. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale forward, let the, la the, let the hands land them back, plank pose, slow vinyasa, sink down into your chaturanga, five, four, three, two, one, push all the way, way up for five, four, three, two, one, knees drop, push yourself back to your heels, gaze forward, pull yourself forward and up, upward facing dog, roll back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky, step forward in between your hands, left foot lands, right knee lands, come up, Anjaniasana, two breaths here. Arrive in the pose, settle in. And let the hands land, push yourself back, Adha Hanumanasana, straighten your left leg to your capacity you have right now. Push yourself forward, left foot lands again, rise up, inhale, Anjani Asana. We will combine the two movements again. Roll down, exhale, push back, Adha Hanumanasana. Roll forward, inhale, come up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
in he'll pull yourself forward hand lands the back plank post slovenia so sink down for five four three two one push up for five four three two one knees land push yourself back to your heels pull yourself forward upward facing dog roll back downward facing dog inhale right leg up to the sky step forward in between your hands rise up high lunge stay here for a moment bend your right right knee more we would do you almost the same as before just standing up taller now so dive forward straighten your right leg long pyramid pose try to use uh, try not to use your hands if you need to use your hands try to reach for the ground but maybe you can control the whole thing just with your legs the upper body does not, not need to dive down so much it can stay quite vertically if you feel a stretch in your back side of the right leg bend your right leg come up again high lunge dive forward straighten your right leg come up high lunge dive forward straighten your right leg come up high lunge dive forward straighten your right leg come up high lunge balance on your right foot step forward let yourself land in a tall standing position the left big toe is pushing into the ground just the big toe your spine your back is straight bring your hands in front of your heart or in front of your chest the back stays long the right leg stays long and then lean forward as much as you can with a long back come up again lean forward come up lean forward and down think lower come up spine is straight the whole time sink down come up sink down come up sink down and we will hold hold push the right foot into the ground straighten the right leg more just the left big toe is pushing into the ground crown of the head is pulling forward hip is pulling back slowly come up the back slowly come up again both feet land inhale arms up to the sky exhale dive down halfway up long spine hands land on the ground step jump float back land in your chaturanga and push up for five four three two one knees land push back to your heels pull pull yourself forward and up upward facing dog roll back downward facing dog inhale left leg up to the sky exhale step forward slowly rise up find your high lunge breathe here slowly straighten your left leg dive forward arms pull back maybe you try to balance on both feet the left leg is as long as you can master right now left foot is pushing into your ground you feel a stretch in the back side of your leg slowly come up again bend your left leg high lunge dive forward straighten your left leg come up high lunge exhale dive down inhale rise up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up balance on your left foot step forward right knee into your chest left leg stays long right big toe is pushing into the ground straighten your spine hands in front of your heart or your chest left leg is long and then lean forward with a long tall spine rise up lean down rise up lean forward rise up lean down 
Rise up. Lean forward. Rise up. Last time we hold. Hold, push the hip back, push the crown of the head forward. Left foot is pushing into the ground, left leg is long. Slowly roll up, both hands, both feet land, inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive forward and down. Halfway up, long spine. Hands to the ground, step or jump back, land in your chaturanga. Push up for five, four, three, two, one. Knees drop, push yourself back, pull yourself forward. Upward facing dog, roll back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Right knee targets to the right triceps, connect, push back, right leg up. Right knee targets to the right wrist, connect, push back and up. Right knee, left wrist, connect, push back and up. Right knee, left elbow, left triceps, connect, and then straighten your right leg. Open up, fall in triangle, reach for the sky. Slowly let your bum land. We will be active here. So let your right hand stay where it is or pull it even closer to your body. Let the left hand land in front of you and in between your legs. You can lean forward and then we try to pick up our bum as good as we can. Push the heels into the ground and then pick yourself up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one and land. Take a moment to center, to reset. If you want, you can also try or start to float the, le the legs, the feet, if you want to. If you want a little challenge, try to float the legs. Lean forward, left hand lands, push into the ground, right hand pushes into the ground, lean your upper body forward and then float. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, let it land. Shake out the legs. This can be quite intense. And then place both hands to the front of the mat. Place the right hand to the front of the mat, actually, and push yourself up again. Fall in triangle. Let the right leg float. Pull it in. Side plank on your left leg, your right hand. Let the left hand land. Straighten the right leg back to the sky. Open the hip up and then dive to the other side while the thing the right foot lands behind you. Come back to the middle, right hand lands. Slow vinyasa, sink down for five, four, three, two, one. Push up for five, four, three, two, one. Knees land. Push yourself back, pull yourself forward and up. Upward facing dog. Roll back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Pull the left knee in, roll forward, touch your left triceps. Bring it back up. Left knee targets the left wrist, bring it back up. Left knee, right wrist, target forward and pull it back up. Left knee, right triceps, connect and then straighten your left leg. Open up, fall in triangle. Slowly sit down, let your bum land. Same thing here, we try to keep it active. First round, I will float my bum but you can also float the legs if you want to. Place the right hand in front of you, pull the left hand in a bit closer, lean forward, let your bum lift, straighten your legs, uh, straighten your arms. And let's set it down again. Take a moment to center, to breathe. And then the next round. Right hand lands in front of you, lean forward. If you want, pick up the feet as well. Push up, float. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, shake out the legs if you need to. And then push the left hand to the front of the mat again. Rise up again, fall in triangle. Float the left leg, pull the left knee in. Hold for a moment, side plank pose on the left hand, the right foot. 
right hand lands, straighten the left leg up, and then open up wild thing, the left foot lands behind you, create space. Slowly come back to the middle, both hands, both, both feet land, slow vinyasa, think down for five, four, three, two, one, push up, five, four, three, two, one. Knees drop, push yourself back, pull yourself forward, upward facing dog. Roll back, downward facing dog. Come onto your toes, let the knees sink down to the ground, sit back to your heels. Find a tall sitting position. Catch your breath, if you lost it, take a moment. Place your hands to your heels, roll the shoulders back. We will push the hips forward, chest up. Really pay attention to the activation of your glutes when you do that. And let's go. Let's aim for a camel. Roll the shoulders back, push the hips forward, activate the glutes, chest pulls, pushes up. And then sit back. Push forward. Sit back. Push forward. Sit back. Just two more times. Push forward. Sit back. Last one. Push forward and hold this time. Hip, pussy. Hip, hip is pushing forward. Chest is pushing up to the sky. Breathe. Be here. And sit back to the heels, let the feet land. Open the legs up, walk your hands forward, find child's pose for a moment. Let yourself sink in. Get calmer for a moment, find peace, find ease. Slowly walk yourself back, find a seated position on your heels or if you want a cross-legged seat. We will finish the session with a little breathing exercise, breathing pattern. Close your eyes, let the left hand land in your lap or on your leg, right hand comes to your face, middle and pointer finger come to your forehead. The Thumb of the right hand comes to your right nostril, the left ring finger comes to the left nostril. Exhale completely. Close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right nostril, exhale through the right. Inhale right. Close right, open left, exhale left. Inhale left, close left, open right, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. 
Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Release the hand from your face. Inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Say it out. Inhale. Say it out. Find your normal breathing pattern again. Take a moment for gratitude. Be thankful for your practice, for your, the time you took today. For being in the moment, for connecting body to mind. Take a moment to bow in front of yourself, honor your practice. Thanks for your time. Thanks for practicing with me. Peace. Thank you. Namaste. Looking forward to share space with you again very soon. I hope you have a lovely day in front of you. Peace out. See you next time.